now, Walter Cronkite ended his newscast with, and that's the way it is, followed by the date. You ended yours with, and that's the kind of day it's been. How do you come up with, with an outro like that? And is, is that crucial? Does everybody, does every no. news anchor have to have an outro? No, no, it's not crucial. And we didn't even bother with it for a very long time. But that happened in the early 90s when the all news stations were coming on stream. And we were a little concerned, uh, as all other mainstream newscasts were, that uh, you know we'd be buried by these all news stations. People would simply go to them whenever they wanted their news. It didn't work out that way, of course. The, uh, the mainstream newscasts uh, on all networks in Canada are still very, very strong. Mm -hmm. But um, we sat down and thought, well, how do we counter this? How do we counter people rushing off to the 24-hour news? And um, we thought about doing different kinds of things. We began to do special features like we had Dale Goldhawk on with Goldhawk Fights Back, uh, talking about problems people were having with various sectors of society. Uh, we did Success Story, talking about uh, you know things that people were doing that made, uh, made, uh, made it better for others. Uh, and then uh, they said to me, well, Lloyd, uh, you know, uh, why don't you try to come up with a tagline of some kind to sort of say, this is the word, this is the final word of the day. Uh, you may have heard other information from elsewhere. What we'll be doing at 11 o'clock every night is taking all of that, distilling it, adding to it, and putting it in some perspective for people as you end your day. So I tried out a few different things, and finally I ended up one night saying, that's the kind of day it's been. Mm -hmm. Nobody said much about it. I did it for a week or so, and finally they said, you know, I think, think that's working. Maybe you should try that. So, so I, uh, kept, um, I kept at it. And then in uh, the year 2000, I decided I'd stop it and maybe just change it. Or, uh, you know, I thought, well, people have had this for five, six years now. I'll change it. Well, the moment I stopped it, uh, I was getting emails, people, and, and phone calls, and, and the vice president himself saying, you know, Lloyd, we've got to do something about this. You can't just stop like that because people are now calling. Mm -hmm. so, um, so please put it back on. So, uh, so I put it back on. And those who missed it, of course, were happy it was back. And those who uh, didn't care, they didn't know, didn't bother anyway. Yeah.